Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Um, just a little bit of a, a heads up. Uh, I, I was taking a little bit of a break. I kind of hit my uh, my burnout point, just like a lot of people do. Um, last week on Thursday, I, I broke two ribs um, right behind my shoulder blade. So if I seem a little bit off today, just know it's because I am in a little bit of legitimate pain at the moment. And man, does it hurt a lot. Alrighty, so the Thunder Chief, also known as the Object 452K. Um, I was looking this up uh, after I logged on and saw that uh, Chaos gifted me this tank. Thank you, Chaos. That's absolutely amazing. Um, I was looking around at a couple of postings. I didn't really read a whole lot into it, and I found out that this tank is not really suitable for brawling. It's more of a mid-range fighter, which is what people really like to use it for. 135 millimeter sides, 120 millimeter top, do 130 millimeter turret, seven degrees of gun depression. You're going to want to be utilizing that gun depression. Uh, one thing I do like though is this 400 millimeter gun mantle, along with the 350 behind that. But that's 400 millimeter spaced armor. So any heat rounds that are 400 millimeters, they're going to be able to tear through that. Even the 395s might have a really good odds of going through that if they manage to high roll. Uh, 210 low plate side armor. What was it again? 100 millimeters. Yeah, 100 millimeters of side armor. And then the biggest downside to this is um, if you over pull, you do got 30 millimeters up on the top here. Ammunition wise, dead center lower plate. If you're playing correctly, auto locking is not going to ammo rack you. Dead center of the lower plate, however, is going to hurt quite a bit. Where is your driver located? All four crew members are in the turret. Kind of wondering. There's one thing I do got to look at. All right, so it looks like we do get a lockout. Seven degrees all along the sides. You can hit this back angle right here. And then you slowly start to lose gun depression until you get four degrees over the rear, five degrees over the uh, slight rear. To the side here. Six, 6.2. So yeah, you, you get lower down the four degrees of gun depression over the rear of the tank. Engine bay is a little bit higher up. What is that armor of that engine bay? This is against a 130, so we got 35... 60 millimeter effective plate right there and 35 in the roof deck so do be careful side scraping indeed because more than likely your fuel tanks are going to be located right there uh no your fuel tanks are further inside there is so far from what i can tell nothing that you have to worry about if they do pin that except for whenever rounds do normalize you do got to keep this in mind um ap rounds are going to normalize by five degrees so whenever it makes contact, depending on the angle that it makes impact on the armor, it could readjust into the tank, and it could readjust into that module. So that's one thing you got to keep in mind. Statistically speaking, nothing on this kind of uh, puts me off a little bit. But I, I will say this, and I'll, I'll say this for like all to hear. Oh man, I there's some tier 10 fatigue going on here. I'm getting sick of seeing all these tier 10s pop up, especially whenever you look at the uh, the season itself. Uh, there's so much opportunity here, uh, but the Linus, you know, the Skoda T45, and then the Panther 88, and then the G-Soar. Honestly, in, in my eyes, they, they call the season Heavy Metal. Um, does this look heavy to you? Because to me, it almost feels like you could call the season Brittle Metal, and it would make more sense. You know, and, and another big letdown, like, I'm a Rob Zombie fan. All right, Living Dead Girl, a couple of the others. I, I like Rob Zombie, but it doesn't mean that I listen to it nonstop. Like, it's been quite some time since I've listened to Rob Zombie. But for me, it, it's kind of like, um, when we go back to that time, I think about Tool, A Perfect Circle, Deftones, Mudvayne. There, there's a lot of bands in my mind that I can think of immediately. Uh, Slipknot, not so much anymore. Rob Zombie, I do like Rob Zombie quite a bit. No, I forgot to look at a couple of things. I like how the gun pops up. You got the little gun mantle shield there. Ah, there we go. Death Star. Hello, how are you? We're going to want to reapproach on the left side because we don't want to over pull. The 130 millimeter, though, I I am definitely going to say you are going to fill it against a lot of the derp guns in the game because it's not as thick as, you know, 300 millimeters, 200 millimeters. So, yeah, right then and there, immediately taking 300 almost 400 damage from the uh, artillery straight through our front. And where'd the T-30 hit? Do you think T-30 caught it out? I was a little bit more distracted with everything else that's going on. And Tusk! 
Whoa, this feels weird. What's that turret rotation? That is not responsive in the slightest. Already caught in a really bad situation. Don't get me wrong, it's encounter and everyone's going to want to head towards the encounter, but... This is a super crucial area that you got to try and hold. I don't like the new aiming indicator. They do need to give us settings to, you know, go traditional or new, modern or classic. Because the white dot dead center, I like a hollow dot. You know, kind of just a little quirk that I have. Something I like. And something that Wargaming doesn't se seem to understand is that, you know, some people like different setups. And that's one of them. 100 millimeter side armor though. Tiger 2 coming up. I don't really want to. Oh, on a VK. Hey, look, it's the one that didn't get the buff. 560 alpha, 10 second reload. This thing is definitely going to be a really good sniper tank. I know that you're going to have a lot of people sit there and be like, it's reload feels really wrong. That's 10 seconds. Dude, it's, it's 10 seconds with amazing alpha, 560. In terms of trading, this thing is going to be absolutely monster. Like, it's going to be a monster. Let's go here. 60 TP's pulling me, and he's going to have no issues pinning. Unless we can somehow prompt ourselves. I'm going to out-reload him, but in terms of brawling, it's going to be a little bit of an issue. And artillery hitting my barrel for 500 damage. More HE. Let's go through the gun mantle, because on the VK they're weak. Hello, Tiger 2. How are you today? I, do I trust my um, top armor, the 130 right here? I don't know if I do. Pretty sure that tusk is still up and running. Yeah, that turret traverse, you can fill it. Now, with the way that the gun kind of elevates right there, I wonder if that armor is, uh... 35? Or 30 millimeter stick? I can't remember. I do think T30 you can go through. There you go. And then 1,000 AP, and I'm going to get hit by artillery, because, you know, Sky Cancer and uh, the Fun Police. Province. I've seen this map a couple of times kind of wondering. I've noticed that a lot of people like to do a crossfire from D4 going into like uh, G7, so I gotta keep an eye out for that. You know, there's a lot that they could have done in this map. This entire middle section, they could have actually put a little bit of a village inside there with indestructible coverage, but instead of doing that, they didn't do it. And then the cap circles inside here. Ooh, really bad cross zone right here. Really bad. Oh, I'm going to hold on for a second before I move. And already coming in from that. uh, Yeah, this is just bad map design. You get hindered on this cross and you can't do a whole lot. Some cloak fire. People able to fire into you without really ever needing to expose themselves. Some good bush coverage here, but any in like any conflict in this zone is going to play against you the entire time. The way the hull's designed in this, it's definitely like a 780 concept. But without the fuel tanks being in the front. Mm, I, I'm not going to get a shot in the EBR. I'm definitely over pushing here. That's 420 pen, 268, 395. You know, let's see if we can utilize this uh, turret armor. I'm definitely not using the max. But... Yep, 400 millimeters. You want to be careful of that Yagaru. I am all alone. Don't want to over pull right here. You know, a lot of hatch buffs that have been going in the game have been irritating me. Every single time they buff a hatch, it's like massive hindrance and massive crossfire. Poor map design. Super poor map design. This is horrible. 
all the crossfire. Don't get me wrong, it's an 850 by 850, but come on. Board gaming, there's so much that you could have done to make this a thousand times better. I am really skeptical on trying to side scrape this because I'm at a bad angle. I think I'll be better off peeking out my front. Actually, I should have a better chance poking out my front. Yeah, all, all this crossfire in Providence is absolutely horrible. This is my second time on the map. My first time on the map, I um, I had the opposite spawn, which I feel like is superior. Yeah, there's like no peeking. Playing on the hill on this side, it feels like you just do nothing but bleed trying to cross anywhere. Oof. Something tells me I'm gonna get crossfired right here. Hello, AP round from artillery. Seriously, how like I'm already up to what 2,000 damage from artillery? I'm gonna get shot from the opposite side. Super uncomfortable map. No real good haul down locations. Like, I don't even consider this a haul down location. Like, why would you design it like this in the first place? This is legitimately like, I don't know how you call this safe for anyone to walk on. Really good damage though. 560, thousand meter a second. Yeah, you can't even utilize your gun depression here properly inside this with your 130 millimeter top. Yeah, you, you are, your turret's just going to be your biggest hindrance right here. Mm, I'm uncomfortable backing up because I can get shot from left. I had to side peek and hope that people are blind. Oh, hello, grill. And 50 TP. I'm not going to. Um, I don't see any impact marks except for the one that's on the side, which I think was already there prior. If he somehow thread that there, I'm going to be very confused about the map. Probably going to go in the replay system and look at that. Caught at the moment that it fired. Follow it all the way up. I do think I was partially exposed. He might have caught the track. Uh, the shells. Ooh, I actually managed to catch the shell. And then we come in. Yeah, still, to this point, I'm kind of wondering, because it looks like it made contact. Let's uh, slow this all the way down. Nope, you went straight into the side. Good shot, 50 TP. Good hit. Himmel's Dwarf Encounter. All right, for this one, I actually want you guys to see how slow this thing travels uphill. I'm not super impressed with its mobility. I'm mildly impressed with it, but not super. Oh, it's such a... It's such a drag. Don't stop. Send it. We're up here. I need to take control. Hello, Chieftain. I use my repair kit, because i got to move off to the right here. 2005. In all honesty, against a lot of the HE tanks... I do feel a little bit uncomfortable with that 130 millimeter um, armor. Hello, E4. It's so nice to know that you guys exist. Ah, oh, so much. Lower plate, 220. It, it is beneficial, but at the same time, it's just really weird design. It's going to take a little bit to get used to. No, it's not. I'm going to be dead. Oh, I think I'm good. I think I'm mild. Mm. really hard to peek things they need to do if I'm going to be honest I am looking forward to 
playing Valorant because I'm getting into Valorant right now because uh, it's over on Xbox now. And there's the HE spam straight into the turret, or maybe not the turret. You're over angle D4. That's gonna hurt quite a bit. It does have some potential. Reverse side scripting, gotta be careful though, just because of the way it's designed. And one thing I do like, and I will say this, the 260 standard pin is gonna be able to go through that mouse. Should be able to though, reliably. As long as you average roll, or just consistently mid roll. At this range though, I shouldn't have really any drop off of my rounds for penetration. Doesn't mean it's gonna remain consistent across the board, it just means that. Should be better off than most. Fortunately, no matter what, you're not going to be able to pin the E4. And there's the under armor issue that we're going to be looking at. There's a barrel break. So far, there's two barrel breaks I've had inside this tank. And our backside is falling apart. Yep. And now it's just easy mop up for, against us. I mean, don't get me wrong, like, <laughs> this tank feels good, but currently for me, um, yeah, I am I am not in the mood to be playing right now because I hurt. And Hafaya Pass. I've said this before and I will say it again. God, I hate this map. You know, I, I want to start seeing, um, I understand that we got loot boxes technically in world of tanks war chests guys those those are loot boxes okay hands down loot boxes i want camo I, I want like custom camos that will pop up inside of it like on monthly rotations where we can we buy them we can get like uh custom camos that are exclusive to the boxes and to try and rotate them out all the time i i would be willing to pay for gotcha boxes for like special camos that will only come around like once every two years See, like, I would be completely okay with that. Give me some actual value out of the boxes. Because there's no other reason to buy them. Unless you're trying to go for gold. And even then, it's like... Eh. There, there, there's like no value to boxes anymore or anything else. Which I don't, I don't see as a bad thing. Just... No one buys them now. Why would you shoot that? That's our cover. Ooh, um, now that I think about it, 780. Kind of want to see if I can get a ricochet underneath the gun mantle there. I doubt it, though. It would be pretty cool. Can I pin this? I can pin that. Kind of like 50-50. You know, it's popping up as a yellow indicator, but uh, War Gaming Zone Systems doesn't even know if it's going to pin or not. Never listen to it. He doesn't even know. Uh, to a thousand. We'll get our on our right side. We get a badger. Badger, badger, badger. He has 60 Centurion AVRE Cancer. Um, see, like, against AVREs with 130 mil, that's kind of like what I'm afraid of, is that 130. Gonna make it in my mind. You got four sections on the lower plate of the E5 to have ammo racks, and I was kind of hoping he was going to give me the ammo rack. They didn't send it. They're really weird. They're kind of stagnated at the bottom of the E5. That's unfortunate. Really bumped up turret on the E5. If you're shooting heat, you're going to have a bad time. Okay. Yeah, you're shooting heat. I'm shooting AP. You know I'm shooting AP? Because... <laughs> I know it's going to pin. <laughs> Seriously. I am a Muppet today. I'm not even paying attention to what's on my side. E75, you're not going to bounce. That is for sure if you shoot. Didn't shoot. Big brain didn't. That 4005 AP'd me. That was painful. Uh, let's utilize that 7 degrees. I can't pull when we're pulling. Pulling was uh, able a moment ago. See if we can get this lower plate covered. It's very simple in what the 4005 has to do. Simply splash that, uh... 
130 turret and it's gonna it's gonna hit for like 600 each time that's uh that's uncomfortable all right how's my butt look oh my butt's uncomfortable my rectorial area and then that's the that's the terrain over here on the right side as well. I kind of wonder. I'm gonna pop into HE, and we'll see if this is uh pays off. Seems like it might. I'm careful in my pull. Gotta make sure whatever target you're paying attention to is the one you're facing at the time. Ah, it's unfortunate. I sped the shot a little bit too fast. I should have held it for like a second longer. No, I'm willing to take a shot from you, E5. Really slow shell velocity. I mean, it's not slow. It's 950, but that... All right, I got some serious questions on that Turan shot there. I felt safe. It turns out I was not safe because I was getting ready to back off and go down. And he just immediately snapped it right into the turret. I mean, don't take my gameplay. Take my word for this. This tank is going to be a monstrosity. Just don't base it off of my gameplay. This is my first. <gasps> Hold on. I rotated and I felt it pop and it hurt. But this is my first time on the game in like two weeks because I, I got hit with burnout. The char was the last time I played. I, I mean, I could be wrong. I think I played a little bit more. No artillery. Lakeville. Ooh, I am looking forward to this one. All right. We're going to see if it's a conga line coming over here and left. Put the Amex in 4-4. Four, four. Uh, yeah, his Under Armour. That's an easy overmatch. With the 60, I'm expecting to see a 60. Yeah, another... Ah, oh, there's the 60. Ooh, don't push me. Pushing me bad. Beautiful. Be yeah, alright, so the 400mm gun mantle. I'm expecting this thing to do wonders. 7 degrees of gun depression. You do kind of feel it hindering already. But nothing too crazy. Just don't over peak. Ooh, let's go for turret ring. I think that's going to take heat if I want to go through that turret ring. Can't exactly remember the 60 TP's uh, armor directly. I want to get some good shots on him. I got to move a little bit to the right, get a little bit of a better angle. I don't want to get too hyper fixated on this. 596, that's a good hit. Machine on the left. See, I kind of feel like um, ammo swap right now would have been amazing. Because I would have pulled and we had the light armor on our left and having a couple of HE rounds would have been absolutely gross right now. And there's a top armor abuse. Oh, was it a hatch? That might have been a hatch. Light tank's having a heyday. Oh, the third time my gun's been broken. Kind of don't feel the benefit of uh, repping the gun. Hmm. A lot of bad pulls. Try to go for the overmatch on the uh, machine there. really weird engagement because I don't feel like I can pull as much as I want to because the the turret armor just can't handle shots to side like you expose the side of your turret too much it's going to be such an easy pin to go right through it so I, I kind of feel like I'm super hindered right here that AMX pulling up I need to back up and move up here on the left side It's becoming a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of a ram fest over here from the team. This position, you do kind of need like at least nine degrees, I believe. Yeah, you need in the range of nine. This E75 wasn't so freaking heavy. What's the power to weight in this? I actually didn't even look at that. Thunder Chief pulling up too far. You see right through his turret. You got to be utilizing that max gun depression if you want to make this thing work right. I mean, maybe, maybe I can thread a shot right here. 
This is kind of a big risk. I mean, I'll hold it. 449 with a low ball roll, but that's okay. Question is, who do I try to punish here? Because there we go. We're just going to start throwing shells out and hopefully um, have some good time. The E100 needs to back off. Got to worry about the under armor. 30 millimeters, but everything inside this matchup can just under, like, overmatch your under armor. So you gotta keep that in mind. It's just super uncomfortable. Oof. Got another 488, nice. I, I do like the 260 AP, though. Like, I am never gonna deny, like, good AP rounds. Played a little bit over aggressive right there. I do think my hat should be extremely well covered right now. Is that the machine? That is the machine. Mm hmm. T57 is just going to tear me. A new one. You want to be careful about that top armor once again, so we're going to pull up close. More HE spam. What is going on here? I do think you're out of ammo. Oh, you got a 105, man. Why are you shooting HE? I, I understand that I'm a super heavy, but man. T57, everyone's guns broken. Like, did, did something get changed? Because I remember the last time I played, guns were breaking left and right too. But this this is just absurd. We got is is no one running premium consumables? I wonder what that light tank's doing. Oh, and then the 13105 from up top, the little assassin, you little goober. Is his gun broken too? Alrighty, Corella. Inside the Thunder Chief. 452K. You know, like, I. I oh, look, it's an old trooper. Alright, so they do got artillery, so I do get to watch out. I can't play in the outfield like I want to play in the outfield. I kind of have to take the inside and hold it because that artillery will just punish me otherwise if I do anything else. You gotta be careful in these uh, holes as well. I think I'm safe to repair. I don't think I got to pop the repair kit. Oof. All right, this is a uh, feels like a mistake. Hmm. How do I saw someone fire from there? Oh, nope, he's right there. Up Semesta. Goodbye, Sheridan. Now I'm surprised that the machine didn't get punished a little bit more for that. 279E. You gotta be a little bit careful in this play. Conk's gonna be wondering if he knows where to aim. Do gotta be careful though. And straight into the hatch. And then in this close quarters engagement, like I don't know where I can fire at him to make my shell effective. All right, I have to load heat. There's no getting around not loading heat right now. But this is obsessive. 
Yeah, that, that, that 420 heat pen is just going to tear me to shreds. And here I am, he knows, happily sitting in front of it. And there goes the ammo rack. That was the most aggressive left side push I've ever seen on this map. That is ridiculous. And one of the biggest reasons why I'm not liking the game right now. <sighs> Get a click B, gonna click start, gonna go back in the settings. I'm gonna go to options. Opt out. Thank you. Good, sir. And they still pop up because their system is broken. They don't know what they're doing. Anyways, you guys, um, I'm on a break from the game. I am strictly irritated with how matchmaking is going. I'm irritated that there's no ranked play. There's not a lot that really keeps me into the game. And then even though it's like I have uh, videos that essentially have ideas for um, that I want to do and I want to go out of my way and do them. It's just that playing the game gives me a headache. And right now I hurt and I don't want to play the game. Talking right now actually hurts. Like I want to tear up, but I'm not going to tear up because big girls don't cry. So anyways, um, I'll probably put up a community post whenever I'm ready to get back on. But until then, I am just not in the mood. Not in the mood to play this at all. Like, I'll play comp whenever comp pops up, but that's about it. Other other than, like, public matchmaking and everything else, I'm just not a big fan of it. Now, Thunder Chief, the uh, 452K, I don't think this is going to be a bad tank. I think this is going to be an absolute monstrosity, and I don't think I clicked Garage Gear. Now, did I? Um, the, the UI changes every single season. I don't know why they're wasting their time every single season. Um... They finally, after three years, decided to add in the uh, the crew changing for one perk. You know, the, the one thing that used to be in the game, but they removed a feature. And then they added it back and people are praising him for it. My only reply is, fuck you, Wargaming. And I'm not, gonna, I'm not even going to bleep that. But by this point, that is my honest opinion right now. I don't care about what they do at the moment. I'm irritated with everything that they're deciding to do. The fact that heavy metal comes out and there's not a single heavy metal tank inside it. It's brittle metal and just everything else. And then the first actual heavy metal tanks that they come out with is a completely separate purchase. Metal Fest, dude. Like, I I don't care. And then the fact that our artillery has got the camo that has a special song that plays, but it's artillery. All right. I, I don't care about artillery. Artillery's broken. Anyways, I'm out of here. I'm in pain. I'm going to go sit back, relax, and play more Valorant, because at least in Valorant, the headaches I get on there are tolerable at the moment. So, you guys have a great day, afternoon, night, whatever time you're catching this. I'll see you in a week or two, maybe. Also, I lost silver every single match I played.